Hello students, now we are going to start the second part of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and National Movement. Here in this part we will fully cover that the non-cooperation movement. So now first of all here that uh, non-cooperation movement and uh, we have to understand here uh, when it started, uh, what is the meaning, what was the motive and who started this one. So, we will study in this point. So, first of all, it started in 1920 and ended in 1922. During First World War, the Congress cooperated with the British. Even Gandhiji urged the Gujarati peasants to join the army. He requested and to join the army so that uh, India will get freedom soon if they wanted to win Swaraj. But the event of 19 like events of 1919 uh, like Khilafat wrongs, passing the Rowlett Act and Jallianwala Bagh tragedy greatly disillusioned Gandhiji. That means this destroyed the belief of Gandhiji these three incidents. By seeing this incident Gandhiji thought that, uh, that India will not get freedom. So he, uh, he started non-cooperation movement and he turned from cooperator to non-cooperator and decided uh, to start the non-cooperation movement. At Calcutta session of Congress in September 1920, Gandhiji convinced other leaders to start non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation is a way. This is the meaning of non-cooperation. Non-cooperation is a way of protesting in which one does not cooperate with the evil doer. Those who do the evil uh, things, they will be not supported, especially here the British. And uh, the non-cooperation movement saw to bring the working of the government to stand still by not cooperating with the administration. This was the motive and causes that led to the non-cooperation movement. The three things we have, uh, I have told you. So first of all here that the Rollet Act. Expecting agitation in country, they passed. They means here the British or the government passed the Rollet Act in 19. Uh, 19 March and which act empowered the government to arrest anyone without a warrant and imprison anyone without a trial. Uh, so that means here anyone can be arrested and uh, without any uh, trial there will be imprisonment. And as, as this was a clear violation of the civil rights of the people, it caused widespread and discontent. The purpose of the bill was to curb the growing surge in the country. Okay, because that the movement uh, was going and it was absurd in increasing and for this it was done. In spite of the opposition uh, from the Indians, the Rollet Act was passed in March 1919 and this act authorized the government to imprison any person without trial and convict him in a court. And the Rollet Act implied the following things. Number one, arrest of a person without warrant that means warrant uh, an official uh, that permission to give something somebody to do something and in a second number in a camera trial in camera trial or trial in seclusion means here it excludes all spectators or those who are not legally required in the courtroom that means in a personally they will be inquired, uh, they convict, okay. And third number, restriction on, uh, on the movement of individuals. Fourth number, suspension of right of hibis corps. What is hibis corps? A writ of hibis corps is a, is a court order demanding the public official uh, deliver an imprisoned individual to the court and show a valid reason for that person's detention. Next, moving towards that the remaining points of that first one that the Rollet Act. Gandhiji appealed, appealed to the Viceroy to withhold his consent to such measures. Withhold here that means he, um, he appealed the Viceroy to uh, withdraw Ah, the consent to such measures. However, his appeal was ignored. He started Satyagraha as a challenge to the government. In April 1990, there occurred a number 
of demonstrations and strikes in the country. The British government took brutal measures to suppress this anti-British struggle. That means uh, the British government uh, they did whatever they could uh, they could do to uh, suppress the movement. Then, however, an important features of Rollet uh, Satyagraha was Hindu-Muslim unity. That means here that the Hindu and Muslim they they uh, came together. This was the call given by Mahatma Gandhi, who always saw the unified India, India belonging to the people of all religions, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, Jains, and Parsis. He always see, uh, saw that means Gandhi always saw as a uni, uh, united uh, nation. As India, there were different castes of the people they were living. He wanted that the Hindus and Muslims should support each other in such in just cause. Now, next cause we have here that the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy, which led to the non-cooperation movement. A large but peaceful crowd gathered at the Jallianwala Bagh in Amritsar on April 13, 1919, to protest against the arrest of leaders like Dr. Saifuddin Kichlu and Dr. Satyapal. Jallianwala Bagh had only one exit. There they were protesting. Okay, um, people were protesting, uh, peacefully protesting. General Dyer, the military commander of Amritsar, surrounded the Bagh with his soldiers. After closing the exit with his troops, he ordered them to shoot at the crowd. Okay, the troops kept on firing till their ammunition was exhausted. That means here, uh, General Dyer ordered to shoot at the mob or at the gathered and there were, there were several people were there uh, that the um, children, men, women, okay, and they, um, they were killed. More than uh, thousand, about thousand innocent demonstrators were killed and many more wounded. And this is the scene of uh, that um, Jallianwala Bagh and here that memorial and the next Moving towards the, the third point, Khilafat movement. In the first world war, Turkey was defeated and the Ottoman Empire was divided. Here in Ottoman Empire, basically it was ruled by Khalif or the Muslim rulers. The Sultan of Turkey who was Khalif was deprived all the authorities. He was not given after this any authority. The Khalif was looked upon by the large section of Muslims as their religious head. They felt that any weakening of the Khalif's position would adversely affect the position of the Muslims. The Muslims population in India started a powerful agitation. That means here opposed known as the Khilafat movement under the leadership of Ali brother, brothers Muhammad Ali and Saukat Ali. Here they were the first that they started Khilafat movement. Muhammad Ali and Saukat Ali, they initiated this movement and along with them Maulana Azad, Hakim Azbal Khan, Hasrat Muhani, they were also giving support. Khilafatist formed a three-point program. Number one, the Ottoman Khalif should retain his empire. That means he should be given his empire. Second number, the Khalif must be left with a sufficient territory to enable him to defend the Islamic faith. C number or the third point, Arab lands. Arab lands basically, it was that Arabia, Syria, Iraq, and Palestine must remain under the Muslim rule. These were the three point program. Then Khilafat Day was absorbed on October 17, 1919 on All India scale. Gandhiji saw in the Khilafat movement an opportunity for uniting that means for uh, to unite Hindus and Muslims. And he said that at the Congress plea for Hindu-Muslim unity. Okay, so Mahatma Gandhi was elected as a 
प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन ऑल इंडिया खिलाफत कॉन्फ्रेंस इन नवंबर 1919 ही एडवाइज्ड द खिलाफत कमेटी टू अडॉप्ट द पॉलिसी वाज नॉन कोऑपरेशन विद द गवर्नमेंट व्हिच गांधी जी वाज लीडिंग नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट ही एडवाइज्ड देम टू सपोर्ट एंड टू अडॉप्ट द पॉलिसी ऑफ नॉन कोऑपरेशन विद द गवर्नमेंट by august 31st 1920 the khilafat non cooperation movement started people resigned from government services shop selling foreign goods were picketed students boycotted schools and colleges hartals and demonstrations were held by the end of 1920 the khilafat movement and the congress non cooperation movement merged into one nationwide movement in 1921 the khilafat committee appealed to all the muslims not to join the police and armed forces and not to pay taxes this indeed the government ali brothers were arrested on charge of the sedition okay so next we have the objectives of the non cooperation movements what are the objectives number 1 to attain self government within the british empire if possible and outside if necessary second number annulment of rollet act and remedying the punjab wrong for example here uh, such that the british government should express its regret on on the happenings in punjab particularly in amritsar uh, in uh, what happened in jallianwala bag okay so annulment annulment means here that to uh, uh, to end to remove the rollet act and the third number uh, remedying the khilafat wrong uh, such that british should so what is in remedying remedying means here that um, that the british should adopt a lenient attitude towards turkey and restore the old status of sultan of turkey now the programs what were the programs involved here uh, number 1 the boycott programs boycott of government schools colleges and courts and second number uh, boycott of foreign goods and boycott of election to be held for the councils as suggested by the reform of 1919 then after that A resignation from nominated seats in local bodies that means in local level uh, um, uh, government okay then after that surrender of titles and honorary uh, offices and refusal to attend government functions these were the uh, points which were included in the boycott programs then second we have that swadeshi programs in swadeshi program popularization of swadeshi and khadi by reviving hand spinning and hand weaving so here that the hand spinning and hand weaving were emphasized under swadeshi program establishment of national schools and colleges and private uh, arbitration courts arbitration courts and known as panchayats all over india and uh, next uh, that uh, development of unity between hindus and muslims removal of untouchability and other measures for harijan welfare uh, harijan that means here uh, especially that the lower caste is here last point we have here that swadeshi programs emancipation and upliftment of women now moving towards that the activities during non cooperation movement what were the activities uh, done by the people or the or the leaders during non cooperation movement the nation enthusiastically responded to the call of gandhi ji and uh, what they did and number 1 lawyers such as deshbandhu chitranjan das motilal nehru c rajgopal achari dr rajendra prasad and many other gave up the legal practice and the students left schools and colleges charkhas were manufactured for people to spin cloth gandhi ji himself started spinning uh, and then jamia millia islamia 
was established as a national university bihar vidyapeet kashi vidyapeet and gujarat vidyapeet were the other national universities that were established with the teachers like acharya narendra dev dr zakir hussain and lala lajpat rai and uh, ravindranath tagore and many other distinguished uh, citizens of india uh, renounced their titles and awards gandhi ji returned the medals and that were awarded for his work in south africa he also um, returned this one and then people contributed generously to finance the movement okay to um, to bring a successful movement uh, no doubt that the financial support is also needed here that people generously they supported with a financial help shops selling foreign goods and liquor were picketed and foreign cloth cloth was burned in market places the prince of wales came to india in 1921 the people boycotted his visit at mumbai and observed a hartal and arranged a meeting on the beach the mob turned unruly and riots followed the police opened fire and due to this that the 59 people were killed now that the moving towards repression by the government what were the measures taken by the government here the government took severe measures to suppress the movement as usual the Ga under gandhi ji's inspiration prison lost its terror and become a place of pilgrimage all the important leaders except gandhi ji were arrested and sent to jail and processions and public meetings were banned and khilafat and congress volunteer organizations were declared illegal and now the main point coming here that the suspension of the non cooperation movement what was the incident due to which that the uh, non cooperation movement was suspended it is the incident of the chori chora so what happened here the tragedy at chori chora a village in gorakhpur district in uttar pradesh occurred on february 5th 1922 a procession of about 3000 peasants marched to the police station to protest against the police officer who had beaten some volunteers picketing a liquor shop then police what they did they fired at the peasants and the peasants they became angry and set the nearby police station on fire and killing 22 policemen who were inside the police station and gandhi ji believer uh, believer in ahimsa and was greatly shocked at this incident and what happened then he withdrew the non cooperation movement on february 12 1992 and agitation was severely criticized by the leaders like motilal nehru lala rajpat rai subhash chandra bose and called it a nation a national calamity okay and they were not satisfied with this uh, with this decision and gandhi ji suspended the law breaking part the movement and asked the congressman to pay attention to the constructive programs so that removal of untouchability in the muslim unity and the popularization of swadeshi and khadi gandhi ji was arrested for preparing uh, propagating uh, sedition on march 10 and in 1922 he was sentenced to 6 years imprisonment but due to his uh, Uh, the condition of the health he was uh, released after 2 years now moving towards the impact of non cooperation movement so what are the impacts here the movement failed to achieve any of its three main demands what were the demands obtaining swaraj obtaining an apology for the jallianwala bag massacre and third number solving the khilafat problem but gandhi ji's promise to achieve swaraj within one year launching the movement was not fulfilled it was a great step forward in the uh, course of the indian national movement in the following ways what were the impact number 1 national movement become mass movement okay so here the people from all the backgrounds they started joining here 
and Indian national movement for the first time history acquired a real mass with the participation of different sections of Indian society such as peasants, workers, students and um, teachers and women and however the big industrialists, capitalists and jamidars still remained hostile. They did not um, uh, participate uh, wholeheartedly and then after that second number and uh, instilled confidence among the people. What? Then it generated the desire for freedom and inspired people to challenge the colonial uh, rule here. Now third number fostered Hindu-Muslim unity. Okay, It um, gave a new power to make the bond between Hindu and Muslim unity. Hindu-Muslim unity which could be seen in the uh, merger of Hilafat issue with this movement. It provided an opportunity to Congress to bring the urban Muslims into the national movement. Fourth number promoted social reforms. As a consequence of the national cooperation movement, several steps were taken in the direction of the prohibitions and removal of untouchability. Many national schools and colleges were set up in different parts of the country. Okay, so here that main thing that here the social reforms also uh, carried out here uh, and uh, here untouchability was also uh, tried to remove and different schools and colleges were also set up in the different parts of the country. Fifth number we have here spread nationalism to every part of the country. Earlier the nationalism part was only limited to some certain leaders or certain uh, kind of people but now after this movement that spread the nationalism to every part of the country. The movement gave a new boost to nationalist nationalism in India at its annual session at Nagpur in December 1920. Changes were made in the constitutions of the Congress. And what changes? The Congress was now to be led by the working committee of 15 members. This was the change and including the president and, and the secretaries, secretaries the Congress organizations was able to reach down to village. Okay, and now the Congress organizations were going to the down to the village also, and its membership fees was reduced to four annas per year to enable the rural and urban poor to become its member. So fees was also uh, reduced. Uh, those who were members and fees was for what? For the um, for the financial help so this is the second part ends and then uh, you have to watch also the third part thank you very much